Florida State Venice to Nigeria. This is Shattered TV and we're live at the prestigious institution, University of Benin, to witness the ongoing protest by the students regarding the increment of school fees, which is tagged late payment increment. Right, we are here to hear their agitation. Let's hear from the students who are here to wait for the professor Lilian Salami to address them. Let's hear their grievances. Join me as we hear what they've got to say. I'm out because of my cousins. Actually, I have four cousins in this school. Now, I'm from not the same against, parents. From the same parents. From the same parents. You get. There are a lot of persons in this school that are living on loan. You get. There are some persons here that are, they are the ones actually sponsoring themselves. You get. They are the ones taking care of themselves here in this school. So you don't just wake up overnight. Don't just wake up and just increase the school fees. On the end, this is how they do it. We increase school fees. There's few weeks to the exam. Just adding 10k. But this time she choose to add 20,000 euros within just just three weeks of resumption. Yeah, is it done? It's only in Uniband that these things are done. You get so we cannot just we are tired of keeping quiet. You know one thing about this country is that when you keep quiet, things begin to go wrong. And uh, continuously these things go wrong. So we need to talk. That's why we are out here today. That's why we are protesting. It's obvious that the, everybody are not happy because this situation has gotten to a point where everybody has to come out and fight for his or herself. Because the problem is that from the beginning we thought the students you know, are not really doing anything. But it's so unfortunate because they said the management has been oppressing them and they've been complaining that the management are really oppressing, has been oppressing them a lot. But now it's very obvious that the students have taken it upon themselves and everybody are outside to fight for their rights. Because we want the management to see. And uh, let me go for this uh, SUG body first. Before you come out, before you want to represent the student, you come out and you, you, you are representing the student. You are for the interest of the student, not for your own interest. But it's so unfortunate that you see Everybody will be complaining that the management will be oppressing them. Why are you not there because of the students? So why will you allow uh, uh, management to oppress you? If you truly that you know that this you you are representing the student, do it from your heart. Let the management sack you. Then go. So that the people will know that you represent them. You have done well for them. So it's so unfortunate that we we want the right thing to be done in this country. And Ma Mama Lillian, sorry to for this has really happened. Because we really believe in you, we trust in you. And we hope on you. We know that you are a mother. We thought that you as a mother, you are going to have a soft heart towards the student. But now it's so unfortunate that see you, you are the one throwing us outside. The students are outside. The good students, what do you expect them to get? Are you expecting them to go outside and, be, and, be, and become bandits? Are you expecting the women to go outside and be prostituted to, to get school fees? Mama, please, we want you to do the right thing. Mama, please, we want you to act like a mother. What are your grievances regarding the increments in the school fees by the VC? Okay, actually, I graduated this section like a few months back. Okay. But okay. I feel the, uh, the increment is really uncalled for and it's really so alarming because back then when I was in school, we pay our, 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 our school fees even close to exams. Okay. Why are these sudden um, increments in few weeks uh, adding 20k to school fees for late charges? Okay. Those have not been able to pay their normal fee. You are giving them 20k uh, uh, for late charges it's really uncalled for in, you know it's so unfortunate that students have to like pass through this in less than uh, a month of resumption because we our school fees that was actually increased from 15,000 plus yes. to 41,000 without students complaining at all but now you can just you can just add 20,000 to, to school fees only in the name of late payment when we just resume in less than four weeks this week is just the fourth week that we're resuming and you are admitting that we are paying 20,000 in, in, in the name of late payment that's not right it's not funny you know students are even managing to pay the 41,000 some people have not even paid last session school fees okay. and you're adding 20,000 to the new session fees school fees only in the name of late payment mm -hmm. where exactly do you want them to get it I don't know does the visit does not understand or what because it's very simple you ask me to pay 41,000 I don't have it it. Yes. I didn't pay for it because I don't have. Yes. Now you are adding 20. Yes. I'm going to pay 61,000 because I have it already. It's not funny. I can't pay 61 because I don't have it. Yes. I didn't pay for someone because I didn't have it. That means I can't pay 61 as well. Yes. So that's just it. So, so I hope she understands. So are you saying that they should give the student more time so they will be able to pay up or they should reverse what they have For the now, they should remove the 20,000 naira totally for the now. Okay. If we're going to pay for anything called lace payment, yes. that should be second semester ending okay. and it's never supposed to be up to 20,000 because 20,000 for a late payment is just too much. Alright, we are live at the 
Tinubu Hall, Hall 2. Students so have been asked to vacate their premises, to vacate the hostess. So we are here to hear from the students what's their reaction and what the situation is at the hostel. Stay with me, let's hear what students have got to say. Basically, the um, situation at hand now is that we were, like, we were sent a, an email message. You got an email? Yeah, yeah, last night. We got an email last night okay. saying we should get the hostel before noon today. Okay. So, but basically now nothing is happening. So, I guess yeah. it can't happen because we've actually paid our school fees. Okay. We've paid our hostel dues, okay. hostel maintenance fees. So, we are not even owing. Okay. So, we have, they don't have anywhere to just tell us to vacate the school premises today. Okay. You also got an email? I haven't checked my email, but from the news I've been receiving, it's real. Okay, so what are your grievances right now? My grievances, first of all, it was such a short notice. 20,000 Naira in this economy is no small money. And saying that students are going to have their admission cut off by Friday, that's um, next tomorrow, okay. I think it's too harsh. Because there is a lot of people out here that are struggling. It's not a new news that Uniben here, our students, some of them are sponsoring themselves. Okay. Some of them, they have parents that are civil servants that have not been paid. So this policy is too harsh. How would you spend six years in, in, in school here, five years in school here, and suddenly, as to strike and everything, and you're telling me that I'm going to lose my admission, my six years wasted? It's wrong. We've already done one session this semester, uh, sorry, this year, sorry, and we paid school fees. And now we are doing another, semester, um, another session this year, and we are asked to pay school fees. And this one is coming on such short notice you get, and it's barely a month to resolution, and they're asking us to pay um, um, our school fees. And they are adding an extra fee for late payment to it, which is not so. So I don't think that is right, though I've paid, child, but. I'm still fighting for those. <laughs> I came out to fight for those that, that, that are yet to pay the ass. Okay. Yeah, so that's just it, yeah. We are hungry. Because how can she just increase school fees like that without any notice? Because she did not tell us before she increased the school fees. Normally, as we're in 300 level, from 200 level, we're supposed to be paying 16,000 Naira. They increased from 16,000 Naira to 20 something, or 20 something to 30 something, and they increased to 45, which is the normal payment they're supposed to be paying now. So this is not the first time they're increasing this school fees? This is not fees. the first time they have, they, have, they, have, they have been increasing the school fees. Okay. This, this is the third time now. Okay. And now she had another extra 20,000 Naira for, for, for late, uh, late payment of school fees. Where is it done? For the five, we have not been able to pay for the 5,000 Naira. We are not going to see extra 20,000 Naira to add to, to, to 45,000 Naira and pay. Yo, it's terrible. I don't know what's really going on. But my own is that nobody should leave. Like, why would they leave? Because it's only those that have paid school fees that are in the hostel. So why are you not asking them to leave? You are making them suffer. But the thing is that the 20,000 Naira this woman out there is unfair. Because there are some people, their mothers are in the market. They are selling. Some no even gather the money. They don't even gather the actual school fees. Maybe something helped them they could not pay. Congo at 2K, 20K, John, how you want me to take Duam? Some people are orphans. Some people are even hustling their school fees. How do they want to take Duam? It's not fair. And yesterday now, we went to meet her to come and address us. Okay, mama, just come and talk to us. Just talk to us. Mm -hmm. She no come outside. So she has not come to address the students She has not come to yesterday. address the students. Then I'm hearing that uh, she asked everybody in the hostel to leave. Why they go come out? Why they go make them come out? Okay, okay. So as it is now, would you say the BC should actually reduce or give students time to be able to pay up that 20 or you should reverse it totally? She should reverse it. It's unfair. This is brutal. Yeah. Students have been asked to vacate the hostel. So we would like to hear from you. What's the situation right now? Are students being forced to leave the hostel or what is happening? What is happening? Well, exactly. Like, we don't know Sha, but we just got circular yesterday that we should do still, and we don't know why and how. But at what time did you get the news? I think to us, if, um, in the night, yesterday at night, Sha, we saw the circular that we should leave the still, and everybody was like, why, how come, and all that. So that's why I set up protesting. Like, we can't just leave the still like that, packing out our things, and then bringing it again when we just resumed, so that's it. Okay, so what are your grievances regarding the increment of school fees by the VC of Uniben? Well, it's actually painful because I feel for those that have not paid 40K, like how will they now pay 60K? 
they should be considered. This is a federal school. It's not a state school or a private university that they just run things anyhow. But we hope something will be done fast. So are you told to leave the hostel for no good reason? Okay. And it's not supposed to be like that. If you are if you are telling people to leave the hostel, you're supposed to give them a notice, not just waking up in the midnight and telling them to leave. If you're telling them to leave now, where do you expect them to go to? Okay. They're staying in the hostel because they don't have an alternative. So yeah. now it's not possible. We can't leave the hostel. Okay. So students that are currently in the hostel, are there any violence? Are they being forced to leave the hostel as we speak? Mm, there have not been any violence, but they are trying to make some moves, maybe by locking the hostel, okay. not allowing people go inside and they're not allowing them coming outside. Okay. And I think there's no light presently and there's no water. Okay, I don't actually stay in the school hostel, I stay off campus, but I'm, I think I'm a bit aware of what's happening. After the protest yesterday, we were hoping, hoping to get good results from the VC that she would remove the 20k increment. Okay. She said the school should, that the school will be shut down today by 12 noon. Everybody should vacate the hostel. And you know, vacating the hostel today, it came suddenly yesterday. Okay. The students are not even ready. They're not prepared. And you know about the roads. They decided to go back home now, to go back to their towns and villages and wherever they, come, they, they are coming from. The road is dangerous. One, uh, one particular pharmacist was killed by headsmen along the road there. I feel like yes, man, along that Okada road. So imagine the risk of students going back home at this point where even the roads are not safe. And they've all resumed school with the money they will spend and all that shall. So that's the issue with the hostel. But that is not even the reason why we're actually here. It's because of the 20k in, um, increment in our school fees due to late payment according to our VC. I don't know what is late in the fourth week of resumption. It's just the fourth week of resumption. We resumed August 8th, and now she's saying that the payment is already late. She's going to add 20,000 to our already huge sum. Because to me now, 45K is huge enough for school fees in a federal school. Me now, okay, we have people that are fending for themselves. I'm fending for myself in this school. I don't have any support from anybody, from family or anybody. I'm the one fending for myself in this school. So imagine someone like me that does not even have help to look for extra 20K to the money I've not even seen. For, I don't even have 45k, and I have to go for under 20k to 45k. Imagine how, how stressful, how much that will be. It's cost a lot now. Yeah. So Students are sitting hard. out here not just because they want to sit down, but they are trying to hear their views. They are, want the VC to come out and address them. They've been sitting here for hours, and they are not going home until there is an address. We are not going home, they say. We are not leaving the premises, they say. We are here till our requests are granted. We are not going anywhere until the vice chancellor comes out and addresses the students. Nobody is leaving the hostel, they say. And we have the VC coming out to address the students. A lot of tension in the air, a lot of concern. People can't wait to hear what she has got to say. People are anticipating to hear what she has to say. The postgraduates are saying a total reversal of transcript processing. The fee of 5,500 for undergraduates. They are saying both for undergraduates and postgraduates, that fee should be scrapped. Total, total reversal of postgraduate damn fee from 85 to 35,000. That is wickedness. That is witchcraft. And it must be resistant. Therefore, we are saying the 30,000 to 60,000 for postgraduates, graduates, gang must be reversed. All illegal increase of fees should be reversed immediately. Madam VC. Good. Now, mommy. Sorry, you are not my mother. Madam VC. We are told 
when I when I was doing my undergraduate program, I could stay in second semester. I will give up. I will give up. Wait, wait. I will give up. Wait, wait. I will give up. She has to hear our demand first. Let her hear our demand first. Now, right now, before those, that's what they give mind. Salami, tell her, give her mind. The Salami, give her mind. Salami, give her mind. The 20K must be taken to second semester. That is all for now. And it's money. She can invest to 10,000. 10,000. That is uh, causing the problem. The twenty thousand that is causing the problem. The twenty thousand that is causing the problem. We will remove that. Please, I have to go and do it. Am I the one who will do it? I have said so. Problem. Then, uh, <laughs> by the time you get to your cover page, I am sure ICT they are here. They will rectify it. I said they will. They will. ICT they are here. They will go back and remove it. Am I, am I the one who does it? be open for students. I said the hostel. Uh, they said, I mean, the hostels will be open so that you can go back into the hostel. Then, uh, in fact, I don't know any student here, so I cannot uh, uh, approve for rustication. I don't know anyone here. Then, uh, what else do they do? Remover, remover of the uh, of the key and uh, PRO. I can't say right here, but we will remove them. Of I said they will restore light and water now. The activation of uh, PD students, I really didn't know, but uh, if that is the case, we will reverse or, and revisit it. We will reverse it. Then uh, the reversal of uh, transcript processing. <laughs> the uh, reversal of transcripts to 5,000. That is not our making, it is jam and uh, uh, the processing. Eh? The processing. It is a, 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 a tailor that brings it, postgraduate gown. So we'll go back to the postgraduate gown the tailor. It's one Mrs. Esage, it's not us. I said it's not we, we will get back to her. Mommy, people are already paying the 20K. They are saying that 
they will reverse it. She said they will reverse it. Yes. She said they should go back to the from the water. We're excited, as you can see, the environment is bubbling. We're happy that finally democracy actually took place in Nigeria. We're able to air our view and we met up with our expectations. Thank you very much. Thank so, you. Now, are you going back to school or you're going home to Chilas? I'm, I'm going back to my hostel. <laughs> so you didn't actually move, actually? No, I didn't. We, I, I can't move. No leave, no transfer. <laughs> now that the VC has addressed the students and all the demands have been met, how do you feel? Especially me, I feel good. Like, but the only issue is that all these things were, all, were only spoken. We await a written letter to the effect. But we are excited. The students are happy. It's, it's really an accomplishment for us. How about you, sir? Yeah, about me, I feel very, very, very awesome. I don't know, since she entered power, we thought that we would see a very great change. But as time went on, she started falling out of track and and uh, and uh, I, I don't know how to explain uh, actions but